Hey, this is Roy from RateMyFuneral.com. That was Rate, by the way. So, today what we're going to do is a bit like what we just saw. Um, this isn't really a tutorial. I suppose it kind of is, but it isn't really. It's more me messing around. This information is more than likely out there in a ton of different ways. Um, but I, rather than sort of looking into it, I just thought, sod it, I'll try and work out to do it and mess around. And then I thought, well, I might as well get you involved and you can follow along. So obviously you know you you've read the title you've seen what what we're going to do if you think you really know how to do it then go away if not stick around i don't know what am i talking about i shouldn't tell you to go away i'm sorry i do apologize about that i shouldn't be nasty yeah it's just it's sunday morning i'm pretty tired but anyway i'm talking like i've drunk about 17 cans of red bull so far today but i'm assure you i absolutely haven't uh, it was only 15 anyway so let's start somewhere near the opening and what we're going to use is this figure here um, let's see. When I first started out in uh, playing around with cinema, I used to look at this thing and it used to frustrate the hell out of me. Um, because you make this figure and the only options you get is height and segments. So I could make it, you know, bigger or smaller or make my machine run really slowly. Um, and that was, seemed to be all I could do with it. You know, if I tried to do anything with it, it was just like this. Um, you know, if I... Oh, Hello. Oh, that got a bit personal. Um, if I create a floor object, for example, um, put that to the bottom. I'll try not to hit my keyboard too much because that'll probably get really annoying on the microphone. Um, if I give them a simulation tag rigid body and the floor a simulation tag collider body, that just gives it basic physics and boom. Okay, that's that's not how he should act. I'm just going to add some more frames there. Um, if he's going to fall over, I want him to fall over properly. Um, but yeah, no, oh, no, he thinks he's a plane. So there's there's something not right there, is there? So this bugged me for ages. And then one day I came across just hitting C. Um, or with it highlighted, there's a button up here. But obviously because I've now done it, it's grayed out. But making it editable, that's the important point. Um, let me just turn on display grid shading. And um, this uh, now, if you look in the uh, structure over here, you get all of the parts of the little wooden figure or dummy or doll or whatever the hell it is um, I think it's called an artist doll isn't it or something like that I don't know um, but you get all of these parts so now you can actually do things with them I'm not sure what the effectors are for because obviously these are just nulls so it's, I, I don't know what that's for now so there may be something you can do with this that is well beyond my knowledge and I have no idea but I just haven't bothered to try and find out um, but anyway, so this is our geezer. So now what we can actually do is if we say select this arm at that point there, we can actually hit R for rotate and we can rotate the arm maybe that way a little bit. And then maybe we grab this part of his arm and no, we don't want to do that. Let's click away and then select it again. No, there we go. And that gets it as the group. There we go. And we can turn that one that way and so on and so forth. We can then just, uh, you know, move him around and do whatever we want to do with him um, until our heart is content if you get my meaning so um, yeah however what if you want to make him sort of into a rag doll and make him do some funny things um, let's have a look at doing that I'm just going to undo those movements that I just did but yeah, stop motion okay so um, first thing I want to do is just tidy up a few things over here because um, this is going to get a bit messy otherwise so let's first of all we'll just get rid of the rigid body tag we will add that again a bit later on um, left thigh left shin left foot uh, effector we don't need that effector we don't need that that one or that one or that one so we've got rid of the effectors the grouping is quite important to us now figure is currently this center section here so I'm actually going to just close everything up and I'm going to take everything out Ooh of that and I'm going to rename that uh, to body middle just so that we know what we're dealing with here um, and I'm going to also put him into some kind of logical order so I'm going to put the head above the body middle and the upper body in between the two uh, they can stay like that that's fine for now and then we've got the legs underneath so it's kind of moving its way up um, I think this joint here needs to come somewhere between those two so we'll just pull that out so we're gonna say uh, middle joint there we go so we've got the head 
which has got the neck. So we'll whip the neck out of there just so we can see it. Then we've got the upper body and we've got the arms. So let's take the arms out and we'll put those. Uh, no, we'll keep those in there just to keep them out of the way and tidy. That's fine. Uh, middle joint, middle body and the legs. Brilliant. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. So the head um, and the neck. I'm just thinking this again this is just based on my interpretation and what I kind of think see the way I see it is that this should be fixed to this and then the head should move around because you kind of you move from the top of your neck I did the action just then obviously you couldn't see it but um, so what I'm gonna do is add a dynamic from simulate dynamic um, connector and hold down alt so it puts it the, in the same space as the neck and then just take the neck out and put it between there okay um, if you are running R15 then it will be exactly the same as this if you're running earlier sort of 14 13 or 12 um, then there's one bit that's missing but I'll show you that in just a second so uh, let's change this to ragdoll okay now what we end up here is kind of like this dog um, flower pot thing you know to stop dogs licking themselves where they probably shouldn't um, and I'm just going to turn that up, hold down shift to make it 90 degrees and this is kind of the, the, the it's supposed to be the side of, sort of, oh hello, the distance the, uh, the, the ragdoll can travel so here is the comb radius so we can maybe bring that in just a little bit because otherwise it will snap his neck um, now uh, let's uh, rename this um, okay so we're gonna say this is the head to let's do it like this head to neck okay um, and we put in the head and we put in the neck okay so that's uh, with that connector highlighted you get the options there um, if this is what I was saying about if you're on 15 you get this extra one which is ellipse um, I don't believe this was in the earlier versions I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure it's not and what that does is it allows you to actually sort of pull that in no nope, that's bounced I'm not doing uh, pull that in see so it can maybe only go sort of sideways but we don't want to use that on this this one anyway so we'll just turn that off his head can swing freely about that's fine um, then the neck to the upper body we need to put one there um, in case you haven't got one, PSR, this is, I do this on every tutorial, but this is a fairly new reinstall, so um, I need to add it now. But reset PSR, plop that in there, um, because that is going to really, really help us. So, neck, um, let's grab a copy of that, click and drag it, hold control, put it in between, and we're going to just rename this one to neck uh, upper body okay and I'm just gonna set this one to fixed bump and I'm gonna change it to neck and upper body and the position of that one I might just drop down a little bit just pop into this view it depends how I mean you don't have to spend that much time and effort making it exact but I'm just gonna place that so it's on that joint there uh, and when we look at this one just make sure that that kind of ball sits right which is fine okay so I don't want to spend too long, so let's uh, get hammering through this. So upper body, um, let's see, the uh, we've got the arms here, so we might as well make a start on the arms. Let's uh, whip these out because these are going to take a, a moment. Um, let's change this a little bit. Um, let's pull that out of there, that out of there. I'm just basically going to get all of the left arm bits and put them into order and just name them appropriately so right left shoulder joint um, left upper arm we can just call this one left elbow and then the lower arm should be next and then this is the left wrist and then that's the left hand so they're now all in order now okay so same old thing we need to add a um, uh, from here yeah we want we want a ragdoll option so I'll just copy that one and put that there this is um, between this joint and here um, 
the way I will do this, uh, I think, is going to be I'll put that inside the left shoulder joint there and PSR it out, and then just rotate it so that it is facing the body. You have to eyeball that a little bit. Okay, um, and we'll put that in there, and we're going to say upper body to left shoulder. Okay, and make it upper body. I'm naming everything properly because of the fact that when you're doing something like this, you're do going to be doing so many of these that if you don't name stuff, then you're going to get really confused. Uh, so this one again, I'm going to just do something like that. Um, and this one's going to be left shoulder, upper arm. Um, and we set that one and that one. So I turned that round while I was rabbiting just then. So we've got those two now are in opposites. Okay, so next is um, the elbow. Um, we'll go back to uh, this one I want to be a hinge so simulate dynamics uh, connector hold down alt and swap them round oops I didn't mean to put it inside there okay um, and we've got it, basically the angle of that is the way it's going to hinge so at the moment his arm is sort of out sideways so I want it to hinge kind of like that so that's fine um, the way I think I will do this will be um, just think if he is uh, if he's turning his arm in uh, let's let's name it left elbow lower arm uh, and I want one that's left elbow upper arm no, I'm just I'm just trying to decide I can't remember how I did it before but whether I did it um, whether I did it so that one of these was fixed um, and this is elbow right okay so let's just connect this all up first and then we'll worry about it oops okay and this one goes left elbow to the left lower arm Uh, righty. I'm not 100% convinced that this is the best way to do it, but we'll see how it turns out. Uh, it's fairly easy to fix if it's if it doesn't work. Um, okay, so we've got those two, and the one thing I do want to do is put an angular limit on it. So that's not far actually. So if we just make it so that it can't kind of go back more than there, if you can see these little guides. That's kind of where we're setting where it's able to turn to. So that should be about right for that one. Uh, angular limit and uh, da, 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 da. and that one should be about right for that one. Awesome. Okay, let's make a copy of both of those two. And we'll put them in there. And we'll put one there. And we'll do uh, PSR. That, oops. Silly me, I need to put these both in the wrist and PSR them to the wrist. Okay. And put them back. Right, so this is left lower arm, wrist. And this one is right. No, it is, what am I doing? Uh, left wrist to right why am i obsessed with right to hand that's what i'm trying to do right okay so go to this one and plop that one in there that one in there go to this one and plop that one in there and that one in there okay so uh the types here uh, i'm going to change this one to ragdoll ragdoll turn off the angular limit um this one as well ragdoll all right so this one will turn so it's facing that way and this one will turn so it's facing that way okay so obviously we've done a lot of work we've not seen anything happen yet so that can get a bit frustrating so what we'll do is we'll highlight everything group it together into a null that was alt and g 
and we'll call this our dude all right and let's give him a simulation rigid body um, and let's have a look at what's going to happen here if I create the floor put it down a bit uh, give the floor a simulation collider body. What happens first is he just falls straight through the floor. The reason for that is because we need to make this inherit apply to tag apply tag to children. Okay, and then it explodes. However, you may notice that our our arm stayed about right, so it ends up looking kind of like C3PO in the in the junkyard. We're off to a good start. Right, now we need to quickly rush through the uh, the other arm. <sighs> Here we go. We need to, first of all, take everything out. And then we need to line it all up. Right, joint, joint. Okay, so right shoulder, where's his right upper arm? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Um, it's right there, look, um, oh, there we go. Okay, right upper arm. So that should be below the shoulder. Um, I might just highlight all of the left stuff and just Alt G and group those into left arm. There we go. Um, and we'll do the same with this right arm. Just so that we can, it keeps it a bit easier while we're working on it. Right, so right shoulder, upper arm. Right elbow. Lower arm, right wrist, right hand. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's just borrow one of these. And we'll zero that out. We need to put that into his shoulder though, and then zero is out. There we go. Make it face the right way. Okay, so this is upper body, right shoulder. So we've set the upper body there, which it already is, and then the right shoulder there. Cool, okay. I'm gonna make a copy of that one and turn it around. This is uh, shoulder, upper arm. Something's not right there, is it? Why is that doing that? I've got a very strange thing going on there. Right shoulder, right upper arm. Right shoulder, right upper arm. I'm not sure why that's coming down like that. Um, let's just hit play and see what it does. Going a bit nuts, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure why that's doing that. What I'm missing here. Let's just see the difference. That one's okay. Just make a copy of that moment. PSR that. No, that does it as well. Okay, so it must be something different. Let's just undo a moment. Something different with the way that one is to that one. Do you see the difference? I don't see any difference. Hmm. X of object? No? I'm just hitting buttons now, to be fair. You probably can't even be able to watch me just randomly hitting buttons. That, that's just silly. Um, is it something to do with the shoulder? 
shoulder. That looks normal. I don't know. It's centrally position. Right, couldn't tell you. Don't know. Maybe you know. If you know, let me know. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments. Um, anyway, I'm going to carry on. Otherwise, this is going to end up being really long. and It doesn't need to be. Okay, so where are we next? Um, we want the hinges. So I'm going to borrow the hinges from up here, save making them all again. So we'll grab, bang, those two. And we'll say, we'll put that one in there and PSR it out. Right upper arm. Supposed to be on the elbow. There we go. That's where it's supposed to be. Um, and we want to turn it 90 degrees that way. And let's put it up here. And the lower arm. PSR it. Turn it 90 degrees. Okay. And we'll put that there. And just change that to right. So we don't get confused. And we set that one to right upper arm, right elbow. We set that one to right elbow, lower arm. Awesome. Okay. Um, we might as well grab these two as well then. Make a copy. Remember, hold hold down uh, control while you're dragging. Um, so let's put these both into the wrist and zero them out and we'll turn this one oops, uh, 90 degrees that way and put it up and we'll turn, put this one in, PSR it, turn it 90 degrees that way and put it down and we just change that to right right cool, are you keeping up or are you still asleep? I think I might be asleep I certainly will be by the time I'm finished. Right, so let's put those in. Thing is, I could cut all this out, but... Oh, look, there's another one. Ah, oh, why is that... Why? None of these did this on this, this side. Someone, please tell me, because this is going to drive me nuts. Let's just test it, though. All right, so I've broken something. This is why it's a good, good idea to test every now and then. So, somewhere over here, his arms come off. Um... Oh, you must have seen me do that and everything. Oh, no, I know exactly what I did. I didn't hold control. I bet you it was one where I said, I oh, remember to hold control. Um, right. <laughs> oh, have you been screaming at the screen? I bet you have as well. Right. Shit, that's... Uh, let's, uh, what a tit. Hang on a minute. What have I done here? Is, is this... All right, now they're in the right place. So that one, PSR, change the angle, goes there. That one, into the elbow, PSR, change the angle, and put that in the middle. Okay, change that to the left, change that to the left. Okay, and set that one, upper arm, elbow. Oh, I can't believe I did that. It's funny how you don't notice these things when you're concentrating on other things. There we go. Right. So now it's kind of just a bit freaky. But it's looking pretty cool. Okay. So we need to work out what to do with the middle here. We can put the arms away. Cool. And close that. Right. So the middle joint. Um, I'm going to go with... I'm going to have a copy of this one. I'm going to put it into the middle joint and PSR it. And I'm going to place it um, at the top of the middle joint. This is the fixed one. And uh, we can just name this one upper body middle joint. Okay, and then the one below it, um, we're going to make this one kind of the one he can move about. So middle joint, let's create dynamics, connector, hold down alt, unconnect it. And we'll say middle joint, body, middle. Change it to ragdoll and 
let's make it go downwards and uh, I mean that's kind of alright as it is maybe maybe slightly less you don't want him to break his spine and um, we'll put the middle joint and the body middle I'm just test that that's not working cool you know what I did I forgot to actually set those there we go so that's the the fixed one for the middle there there we go that's funny actually look it's like his balls just fall out sorry um, right body middle left thigh so this is the legs now we've got to sort the legs out so we'll do the left we'll do this one first let's uh, do exactly the same as what we did for the arms we'll just um, take all of the bits apart and group them together and call it left leg okay so that's the left ankle left foot uh, left knee left shin left what's that hip I don't know we'll call it that whatever left thigh right so that one's at the top then followed by that one then followed by the knee then the shin then the ankle and the foot right cool okay so um, this one I suppose you you can move your leg in some interesting ways so yep let's let's go for a dynamics connector and we'll go for a ragdoll again and change the angle and maybe just move it out just a little bit I don't know try and get him to do the splits I'm not sure that that radius is quite as much as it should be so we'll just pull that in a bit there we go and what we'll say is body middle to left hip okay and we'll take that out of there We'll set the left hip in there and we'll set the body middle um, right so now uh, we need to connect the ah oh, that's going up that's going up so I've got that the wrong way up um, so let's just turn that one that way and we'll make a copy of it and we'll say left hip uh, thigh Okay, and we'll set that one and that one and we'll turn that one back around there we go we've got to have one in each direction cool okay so we've got that and that right the next is going to be the knee this is going to be another case of um, hinges so we'll say left thigh the knee um, and we'll turn it in that way cool um, we'll set the angular limit so it can turn from there to there or something like that cool okay and we set left thigh and left knee in there okay and we need one the other way as well because we have the knee to the shin left knee shin are you getting the idea yet? it's kind of yeah it's kind of doing its thing it's pretty cool um, and then finally we've got the shins uh, I, it's arguable I suppose it is really a rag doll but um, what I'm going to do is for the top one uh, I'm going to make that one a ragdoll so we'll just uh, we'll take say uh, this one copy and put that in the ankle and rotate it up get it about the right place put it there and we say uh, left shin to ankle and put that something like that um, and then the foot one I'm just going to borrow this uh, hinge one I'll put it on the hinge put it on the foot there we go and set that something like that 
change the angle limit. So maybe something like that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe something like that. There we go. Right. To me, that's about right. Okay, so let's just test him and see if he's doing like he should. No. You know what I forgot to do? Was actually change that. It's very easy to do this. This is supposed to be left ankle foot. Okay. Cool. It's weird with the whole ball spinning thing. I'm not quite sure why they're doing that, but anyway. Right. Uh, let's see. We now need to do exactly the same thing for the right side. So you know the drill. I could cut it out. Do you want me to cut it out? No? You want to sit and watch it all? Okay. Um, right. Let's see. So this is left hip. Just at the top. And then we've got right thigh. Then we've got... Right knee, right shin, right ankle, and we got right foot. Um, why is the left? Did I just do that? I'm really not fully awake yet today. Okay, right, there we go. And we'll group all those together and make it right leg. Okay. So now we just literally, don't do it again. I'm gonna copy each one. I'll do each one first this time and then, um, and then go through and name them all. Bop, bop, bom, bom. Right, right, right. This is a lot of effort just for a bit of a giggle, isn't it? I mean, I saw you, well, I'm not sure if there's anything really you want to use this for, but I suppose it's just fun. Bit of a giggle, right. Um, so that's all of those. So we need to place that into the hip and zero it out and then aim it upwards. Take it back out. Um, put that one in the hip as well. Zero it out. Face it downwards. Take that back out. Okay, then the knee. Dom dom. Gotta watch some of these though, because they're uh, changing some of the angles. Um, okay, put that into the knee as well, put all that out. Okay, that's about right. Um, put that into the ankle. Aim that one up. Put that one into the ankle. Okay, no. I'm going to tweak that one so I can go from there to about there or something. Okay, and then we just need to set all of these to their right counterparts. So body middle, yep. Right hip. And that's why naming was really, really good because this then makes this bit really easy. Okay, now, when I press play, he should just fall to the floor in a floppy mess. Woohoo! It's all a bit slippery, so uh, we'll just go to our tags and you can put the friction up uh, maybe to about 120 or something like that. And boom, 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 boom. There you go. And there's your geezer. 
And the way I did some of those, um, the ones in the video, um, was literally I just placed him like next to the floor um, and set it to um, did it, trigger, trigger uh, on collision, and then just threw something at him. So let's uh, let's drop a box on him. I don't know how well this will work, um, but if we make this automatic and just press play, bang. It's a bit strange. Oh, he's rapping. Look at him go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's just put the mass of this box up a bit. Custom mass. 100. This should just squash him. <laughs> okay, <But> anyway. <laughs> you get the idea with that. Um, hopefully that's enough uh, to get you uh, playing around with it. Oh, we've broken his ankle and it's gone back on. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to sit and mess with this. It's uh, a bit silly. Um, yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, so have a play with it. See what you do. Uh, if you make anything funny or interesting or whatever, stick it on the site. Put it on the Facebook, on the Twitter, the Google, whatever. You know, they're all there. Go and have a look. Cool. All right. Thank you. And I'll catch you next time.